Hey Amazon Shopper, Steve here today. I want to briefly go over this Zome Q111 portable tripod. Guys, I have a lot of uh, Zome tripods. I have probably about seven or eight now. Uh, actually, camera setting on one, video lights are setting on two other ones, uh, four or five other ones in uh, my photography room. I uh, love these tripods. I uh, got the opportunity to test and review this tripod for you so I just want to do a basic briefing and show you what you're going to get if you do decide this is the right tripod for you. Now guys I got everything out and this is a little carry bag that they uh, provided with the tripods, a little drawstring carry bag. Uh, it's very neat that they added a little bag in there. Now this tripod weighs in at about 2.7 pounds. It is an aluminum tripod and they offer it in three colors. I chose the red one. Uh, I like this tripod a lot. It's very, very lightweight guys. Something I can grab and go throw on the bottom of my Canon backpack and I'm gone. I don't have to worry about lugging around a whole bunch of weight. Uh, for, for a plastic uh, aluminum combination tripod. Uh, it's very sturdy. I was quite surprised when I got it out of the box. Now guys, I've just kind of zoomed in on the head here so I can go over it briefly with you and show you uh, a little bit better. Hopefully my camera's picking up on this pretty good. You do have a quick release button right here. You just simply pull that tab and pull your plate out and that attaches to the bottom of your camera. It just has a little flip up ring right there to screw into the bottom of your camera. You slide that back in, pull that back out. Now you have three different adjustments on this. You have a little bitty screw right here that you undo and it's going to give you your tilt this way. You're going to use your actual pan handle right here to tilt this way. And then you can loosen right here to actually let it release and pan. Now guys, uh, for, a, for a plastic head, this is actually pretty smooth. I was quite impressed with it. Uh, I stuck my Canon camera on here the other day and uh, messed around with it and uh, panned back and forth and it was really smooth. There's not a whole lot of jerky motion. Just make sure you have this unscrewed uh, quite a bit if you get it too tight you're going to start getting some jerkiness in there um, there's not uh, fluid or or bearings or anything like that in there guys but for a budget style tripod guys it's, it's actually very smooth as long as you have this loosened up enough to uh, let it move freely if we go to the center of the uh, tripod uh, the top of the uh, legs you'll see that you have a release knob right here and then you have a crank right here and this is just going to simply move your camera up and down it's just a quick little way to move it up and down you're also going to have foam grips on all three legs right there, as you can see. And then once again, down here, you're going to have another locking mechanism that lets this slide in and out right here. So once I get that into position, I can just lock that and that's not going anywhere. This tripod does have a weight hook on the bottom of it, guys. Very important to uh, stabilize your tripod. Uh, it's plastic, guys. There's no spring or anything like that. It's not removable, uh, but it is there, guys. So you can add the uh, weight to your tripod. We'll move over to the legs and you have three quick release tabs right here, guys. Simple to use, easy to pull out. There you go. You set up your shot. It's easy to make adjustments too. Now if I want to make just a little bitty adjustment, I just pop that one tab and pull it out and there you go. Uh, very easy to use. The red aluminum of course follows all the way through on the legs of the tripod. And these aren't round guys, uh, so are pretty cool. These are almost kind of flat on one side right here and then uh, rounded on the front. So pretty neat design there. Now, I really like the red on this tripod, guys. Um, I, I like red, and uh, this is the uh, second red tripod that I have. I have an orange one and a blue one and stuff like that, but uh, I really like the red on this one. It follows through on the uh, rest of the legs, not just on this one part. If we move down to the feet here, you can see that it's just a flat style foot, but it is it does pivot on a little ball, so it's going to contour to uh, any surface that you have it on, and that's followed through on all three of the feet, as you can see. Now guys, hopefully I've covered everything that you're going to get with this tripod. Uh, all, all of the pieces maybe answered some questions that you might have. Um, I absolutely love the tripod. I absolutely love the tripod, guys. I like Zomay products. I've, I've had really good luck with them in the past. And uh, this one being a plastic aluminum kind of budget tripod, um, I'm pretty impressed with it, guys. It does everything it's supposed to do, and it, it's fairly well built. It feels sturdy, and I believe it'll last me a long time. Um, now don't go 
Now, that, the guys don't go trying to compare this to, uh, you know, $200, $300 tripods. It's not. It's a budget tripod. It is what it is, guys. But uh, I'm telling you, I've had real good luck with Zome products in the past. And I really like this one. At 2.7 pounds, hey, uh, I'm going to pack this thing with me the next time we go out on the trails or even on our mountain bikes. But I've had a lot of good luck with uh, Zome products in the past, guys. So um, I can, you know, highly vouch for the company and uh, their other uh, tripods. I had issues with one of their tripods in the past, and I, I contacted them, and they were on it. They fixed the issue for me. So absolutely pleased with the company. Um, so I, I believe this one's going to uh, last me a good while, and uh, I like that it's lightweight, and I can pack it around mountain biking and stuff like that with me. Uh, so five-star review for me on this one. Uh, this tripod and this price range. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment box down below and I'll try to help you the best that I can. But until the next review, as always, be safe and happy shopping.